Our next pattern is paginated API handling. This is a mechanism where multi-page transaction load from an API can be downloaded and then assembled into a single set of documents for processing. So APIs, instead of sending a single large set of data, they can send batches. So for APIs that do this, we need to design our process to handle the pagination. This is normally done with some kind of looping mechanism where the source system API is called repeatedly to get a full set of transactions. This is not the behavior of all APIs and I do not have a list of APIs that do this. To find out if this occurs, you will need to connect to the API and return data in test mode to see if it is paginated. The first motivation of this pattern is that you are connecting to an API that returns batches. Also, if you want to capture all data and process the data together, then you will need to implement this pattern. We are going to be working with an open API from NASA. Here is an illustration of the solution diagram. The source application sends message to a Boomi process endpoint. The Boomi process persists the message in a data store, this will be the queue or a database, and returns acknowledgement to the sending source application. Another Boomi process runs periodically and periodically reads the data store and attempts to send a message to a target system. On failure, the Boomi process retries the message send. There are a few design and implementation considerations we want to cover. Use the decision shape to keep documents in the loop until there are no more pages to process. With a document cache, implement a common document key method to allow all the documents to be retrieved at one time. And for page volume, consider using a decision shape to throttle the number of documents retrieved. This may not be needed in all cases. And one important note, keep the number of shapes executed recursively to an absolute minimum. Consider maybe using a subprocess for this. After several hundred shape executions, the exact number will vary based on out of memory configuration. The process could fail with a stack overflow exception. There is one specific error to consider, and that is if you exceed the number of allowable API calls. To handle this, you can implement a try catch shape with a retry. Here is a sample Boomi implementation. The process design starts with setting up properties before calling the API the first time. The decision shape checks to see the page limits. The return data is then stored in a document cache and the second path of the branch checks for more pages. If there are more pages to be returned, the process goes to the true path and passes in the current page number into a dynamic process property which flows back into a data process to increment the page number and flows in a loop back into the HTTP client connector to call the service for the next page. Once all the pages are returned, the more pages decision shape will route down the false path and return all the documents from the cache. You would then be able to use that large set of data in whichever way you needed, not just the simple stop shape like we see here. One caution to mention, this is an advanced pattern and it can really result in a runaway process execution if it's not designed and configured carefully. You should be familiar with process execution, design, and troubleshooting before implementing.